Next up we have the sharpen filters. Let's come down to those. Here we go. Notice the first three here, there are no dots after them, which means that these will just be applied directly. So sharpen, there it is. Let's undo that. And sharpen, sharpen edges. Hard to see that on this particular picture. And sharpen, sharpen more. There we go. Now keep in mind, any of these filters that don't have any controls, you do have the ability to go back up to the edit menu and fade. And then you can have a little bit of control on that. So you do have this one control ability in here. And of course we do have the mixing ability as well. Okay, let's just undo that one. There it is. Next up we have the Smart Sharpen. This is a very interesting and, and, and good or useful tool. We have Basic and Advanced. The Advanced allows you to sharpen in the shadow and highlight areas. You can kind of control where the sharpening is going. And in the Sharpen, we can try to remove a Gaussian or a lens or a motion blur if you have any of those kind of effects in there. And you can do more of a sharpening effect. You see there's a real sharpening effect or less of an effect. So you can control how much sharpening is in it. Let me go clip to the top here. And you can adjust the radius of the effect. And like I always like to do is to go clear to the ends of these things and see what happens because sometimes even though it doesn't do the when you what it's meant to do, you may find some interesting effects happening at the ends as well, which might be useful for something else. It's kind of an interesting effect right in there. Okay, so the radius will come in and control how much sharpening is going on as well. So lens blur, here's a motion blur. There's a, with the motion blur, I can try to find the angle of the motion and get rid of that as well. So real nice control in here, real nice sharpening tool and my personal favorite, I want to try to sharpen the picture up a little bit. Okay, going back up to filter again and the unsharp mask. Now, even though it says unsharp mask, it actually is a sharpening tool. You see right there is a bit of a, an edge sharpening going on there. You know, I can increase the amount of sharpening. I can increase the radius. And as always, if you go clear to the edges, you can see some really wild things happen sometimes. So it's very low. And once you get to a certain point here, it kind of goes high contrasting, kind of interesting. So there we go. That's a look then at those different sharpen filters. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.